What's up guys, hope you're doing well today. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna go over two different tools. We're gonna to be going over the DeWalt DCF503, that's their 3 8 12 volt ratchet. And then also I'm gonna go over some uh, screwdrivers, some snap-on screwdrivers I just recently purchased. And I'm gonna do a quick comparison, uh, comparing those to some other screwdrivers that I've previously had. All right, first let's start off with the uh, 12 volt 3 8 uh, DeWalt ratchet. Um, I've been using this for a few weeks now. Um, if you saw that other video, I broke that quarter inch uh, ratchet uh, during a uh, torque test. And it was a little bit short, shorter, I would say maybe a half inch shorter, but I felt like that was a little too long for a, half, uh, a quarter inch ratchet. And um, this one's been working out great. Um, it is a little thicker here, and we're going to talk about that here in a moment. But overall, um, this has come out far more useful than I originally thought it would be. And um, what I do like about it is that you've got a variable trigger. This is a trigger lock, so when you have it in your tool bag or whatever, you can turn that off. It's got a really good light right there, shining right on where you're working. But um, So you take it off, and it's got this variable trigger that I really like. So I just gradually turn, you know, pull it, and it goes very slow on up, faster, faster, faster. And one thing about that other, uh, that quarter inch ratchet, um, I, I did like that. Um, I could fit into better spots. The head was shorter here. Um, <clears throat> but one thing I felt about that ratchet is it just had not, not quite enough torque. This one seems to have, seems to have hit the sweet spot on the torque. And when you're running down a uh, fastener, a bolt, or a nut, it will stop and it seems like it stops at just the right moment, then you can start using this like a regular ratchet. All right, once it stops, it doesn't over tighten, and I like that it doesn't over tighten anything. Um, it stops and it seems to be right there at the sweet spot where I, I get to feel of it, um, where, what the, the amount of torque I'm wanting to apply to that fastener. Um, now the drawback to this is like I said, the length of this head. And I'm gonna show you a comparison. I don't have that quarter inch anymore. I did, if you check out that video, you can kind of see a side-by-side -side comparison. But real quick, I'm just gonna show you the comparison between like, say like a regular uh, 3H ratchet. So this is my snap-on uh, 3H ratchet, uh, not the flex head. I already measured this. This one's coming out at one inch from this edge to here. This is coming out at, if you include this part, which you gotta include that because, um, you know, it's gotta fit down into the, some tight spots. And I've been kind of disappointed in a lot of situations already where this wouldn't quite fit. But a lot of situations it will uh, where this won't fit, which is normally what I would use uh, to remove a lot of things that this is now able to do, where before I'd have to break out a regular ratchet. Oh no, it's horrible. I know I'm spoiled. But um, this has been working out really good. This is coming out, like I said, this is at one inch, and this is one inch and three quarters. So it's three quarters inches uh, longer right there. So it's gonna really restrict areas you can get into. Now they do have a 20 volt 3H ratchet, and I'm told that that head is actually a little narrower. I don't know what that dimension is, um, but I don't have that one. I'm not sure if I'd want a 20 volt. I think I don't want a 20 volt. I don't have any of those short uh, two amp hour 20 volt batteries, but I may be getting that soon. I don't know. I would like to get some of those power stack batteries. I haven't tried those out yet. But my favorite thing about using this ratchet is I can let oil uh, get all over this thing. So in the past, I would like say I'm removing um, an oil drain plug Okay, well, a lot of times I would use my, my um, uh, 12 volt DCF 902 3H drive and I would remove the uh, bolt and I would let oil would get all over this. I got some videos actually showing where I'm working on some hydros on, on some of my other videos and you can see oil just gets all over this. And what happens is you see how those are that looks like a blue light now? I'll show you what it should look like. It should look like that. All right, so one day I go to use this, I'm in a dark spot and I'm like, why is it, it looks like a black light. 
I think it's because I've let hydraulic oil and everything get on this thing way too much. Where this, it doesn't matter. Like for example, right here, I've removed the drain plug and oil's just gotten all over the head. So overall, I'm really uh, enjoying this tool. I use it, you know, all the time now. Um, and I believe, if I, want, if I remember correctly, this was 179, I want to say like 180 something out the door. Um, pretty, pretty happy with this purchase. All right, next up, let's talk about some screwdrivers. All right, I recently purchased these. These are snap-on screwdrivers. Uh, there's the part number SGDXL120BHV. It gives you six Phillips and six uh, flathead screwdrivers. Uh, this color, it kind of looks like a, um, a greenish yellow. It's the high vis. I really like this color. I've been waiting for these to go on sale, and they finally went on sale on the tool truck. Uh, these were pretty expensive. On sale, they were still $200. All right, but I've been waiting to get these. I've used some of the other guys' uh, screwdrivers at work, and I'm shocked at how well these screwdrivers grip uh, screws. Not only that, they're very comfortable, and this is the latest upgraded uh, screwdriver design from Snap-on. And let me show you one reason uh, they grip so well. You see here on this Phillips, let's see if my camera will focus in here. You see those little... Uh, notches, those are in the Phillips bits. So it's not just the um, the flathead, like actually the flathead doesn't even look like it has the uh, little notches. It doesn't. It's perfectly smooth where other other brands uh, that we're going to be looking at here have the little um, little grooves here, little lines there for, uh, for, I guess, for better grip on the uh, fastener. Uh, the flathead doesn't even have that. On the, on the, but the, I'm telling you, these grip really good. Now, it's really slick all of a sudden, and then you can feel it. Once it gets to that gray area, that tip, it all of a sudden, it's almost like an etched. Um, it just feels like it grips better. I don't know what that is on the end of there. Now, another cool thing about these is it'll have on the end, it'll show you the index. So if you're trying to reach up into a spot, um, and that actually does come in handy quite a bit. You can, you're trying to figure out, you know, which way the screw is and you're trying to reach in there. And so having that uh, marker right there to let you know where the blade is, uh, is pretty nice. The grips, these are the soft grip and this design, um, the sales rep, the, the Snap-on uh, guy, he was telling me that they did all types of studies where this, the way this grip is made gives you the best uh, torque available in your hand and is still comfortable and this set comes with you know some two little short stubby ones all the way up to some uh, really long ones here so the total length of the long one you're probably about a, almost at one foot and then the whole thing is a little over 16 inches now the previous set that I've used the most, I've had these for about 23 years. These are Craftsman Professional. Had to order these, you couldn't buy them at the store. And the main reason I wanted these was because I was working on a, at a rail, rail car repair company. We did a lot of mobile stuff and each guy had kind of like their own color. And oftentimes we'd be working on things and be, you know, um, since it was mobile stuff, uh, we would lose tools. So, um, you would be in the grass and everything else, and I wanted my tools to be uh, very visible. So I painted everything orange, and I, that's really why I ordered these, because uh, they were this neon orange. But these screwdrivers really worked out well. They gripped the fasteners really well. Um, really like these, but like I said, these are about 23 years old now. I've lost a lot of them. I've broke uh, a few of them. So I kind of had retired these to just be my carry-in-the-vehicle screwdrivers. For emergencies and then I went and bought some DeWalt uh, screwdrivers. Just a quick pack uh, when, uh, once I started going back to the John Deere dealership I needed just to have just some screwdrivers uh, you know in my toolbox there at work. All right these are garbage. I hate these screwdrivers. Uh, the handle is very comfortable but they never grip the screw right and they feel just they feel very cheap they just never seem to grip the screws very well. However, 
Dewalt, the when I'm using my impact driver, I use Dewalt stuff all the time, and I love this set. I love this. I just don't like these screwdrivers. These screwdrivers were um, just have not performed well for me. Um, these are like some. I don't know what brand this is. These are just some of those screwdrivers like your wife will go buy at the dollar store. These are actually better than these Dewalt ones. I like these better. I, and years ago, I would say probably 15 years ago, I bought a set of these um, Craftsman E-Ball. Just they were cheap, and I just needed a set of screwdrivers. They're junk. Um, they're about the same as these Dewalt ones. Um, actually, I had a set of Cobalt screwdrivers that I actually liked a lot better. Um, cheap set uh, that I'd bought from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, whoever. Uh, Cobalt. Worked out pretty good for the price. If you're looking for a decent quality for a decent price, I would go with some Cobalt screwdrivers. Um, I would avoid the Dewalt screwdrivers altogether. If you want a higher quality screwdriver, in my opinion, over that um, those Cobalt ones, I would go with the original Craftsman screwdrivers. I really like these. I do not like the grip. I kind of like the way they look. They just look, you know, like that uh, traditional... Uh, Craftsman screwdriver, but they work really well. Uh, just the grip is just, you know, very uncomfortable. I bought this long one just so I could do for a specific reason when I'm doing, like I'm changing out um, small tires. I made a video back on that several months ago, but I use this kind of just like um, as a pry bar. It works out great. Anytime I can use my uh, impact driver, I will. I'll try to use that and I'll use that little uh, angle uh, thing that I've shown several times. This is my DCF 801. Love this thing. Works out good, but sometimes you just have to have a screwdriver. I'm not going to recommend the snap-on unless you're a professional and you need them all day, every day. This is what now I'm using at work. Went into my toolbox and this tray fits nicely in the um, in the drawer. So I can just pull it out and they're nice. There's a, you know, a nice spot for all of them. If one's missing, I know it instantly. Um, so this is working out great. These were pretty expensive, but like I said, I wouldn't, if you're just, you know, want to have some how, you know, screwdrivers for around the house, you know, just a cheap set will be fine. Uh, like these, I, like I said, I don't know what these are. I'm not sure if you can even get these anymore. Uh, these Craftsman professional. And I remember these being pretty expensive at the time. Um, I would just recommend getting a set of these, uh, original, um, uh, Craftsman screwdrivers. I really like them. But overall, I mean, <clears throat> these grip fasteners really well. Uh, these grip better than the Dewalt. These are really cheap. Those Craftsman Evolve, they don't they don't grip fasteners very well at all. And it always seems to be the wrong size. The screwdriver always seems to be a little bit of the wrong size, to where these and these almost seem like they were. It was a match made in heaven. When you have that screwdriver into that fastener, it works really well. One other thing, it is nice to have, a, you know, a set of, even if you have a set of nice, you know, snap-on screwdrivers, I still want to have some sets of some cheap screwdrivers for when I'm doing painting and stuff. I'm not going to open up a paint can with my snap-on screwdrivers. You can forget that. Uh, that way you have screwdrivers, you don't really care if they get lost or borrowed, stolen, whatever. You got to have some or, or just paint all over them. But speaking of that, when I was thought about mentioning that, as I was putting everything away, um, these look brand new. They've, they, there are, but I've cleaned them up with acetone. I've cleaned them up with carb cleaner, and it does not take anything off of the screwdriver. They clean up really well. I've put acetone, carb cleaner, all on these markings here, clean them up, and they clean up, and they look brand new. So that just speaks to the quality of it. Plus, you have a lifetime warranty. You break these things, and your snap-on they will uh, your snap-on guy he will replace that screwdriver for free. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. Hope you'll like and uh, like the video. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate all my subscribers. If you leave a question or have a question about something, I'll try my best to answer it. Uh, oftentimes, I don't know why Google. I mean, not Google, Yahoo, YouTube. Um, so, sometimes I see the comments. It lets it gives me a notification. Sometimes it doesn't, and it'll be a week or two later before I see the comments. So if I don't answer your, your comment, um, you know, don't be offended. I will once I see it. All right, you guys have a good day, and I'll have more videos like this coming soon. Thanks.